Hi, welcome to Lena Likes Tarot. And this read is gonna be for my Sagittarius's. Um, so I meditated on your guys' energy. Um, I didn't get a song. Well, I kind of got a song, but um, I mainly saw a lot of uh, visions, right? So I first saw um, like a little girl in like a beauty pageant. Um, I don't know. I don't know anything about those things. So maybe you were a part of a beauty pageant before or something like when you were younger or your kid is in one. I don't know. So I saw that and then I saw, um, uh, oh, something about uh, the city of New York and stock market, uh, stock, the stock market, like somebody does stocks. Or something i don't know i know nothing about that too so <laughs> there's not much for me to say about it um and then i heard the song like just the small part of where it goes i win i win no matter what something 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 i don't know that song i win i win no matter what i don't know <laughs> anyways that's uh that's what I heard, Saggies. Um, and that's what I saw. So let's start flipping out these cards so I can figure out what's going on with you guys. Um, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. Um, I'd really appreciate it. Uh, I also love um, hearing from you guys. Uh, it gives me confirmation. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Please allow me to be a channel. What do my Sagittarius need to hear right now, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels? What kind of divine messages do you have for my Sagittarius? So first out the gate, we have partnerships and alliances. Number three. Um, we have solar plexus chakra, number three. And we have choose wisely, number seven. And then at the bottom of the deck, we have mental conflict, number two. Okay. Okay, so there's there could be some sort of this could be like a business partnership. You may have to make a decision on whether um you merge I don't know I, this is just something I'm getting right now. You merge companies with another company? I don't know. I think you might need to use your gut instinct on this and choose wisely. You may be in your head about this. That's just first out the gate what I get. I don't know why I get that, but I do. But let's dive in. I'm also getting someone, someone if it's not like a business thing, this could be like, um, Maybe even like an old friend that wants to like partner up with you to do something creative. I don't know. Let's see. Spirit of Angels, why do you have partnerships and alliances?
this partnership or alliance is going to be very unexpected. Whatever this is, it's going to be unexpected. It could also be someone just trying to reunite with you. We have thief at the bottom of the deck. Did a thief not think that someone was going to like... This could be it. Maybe this thief character did not realize or didn't expect someone who they thought was on their side to join your team. Why do we have solar plexus chakra? This is what we're going. <clears throat> this is involving a court situation. Maybe it's over something regarding a home in a court case. Why do we have um, Choose Wisely Spirit? So we have courtship at the, um, we have courtship with Choose Wisely. And then we have change at the bottom of the deck. What do we have? Um, mental conflict spirit. So this is a man that's in mental conflict. Conflict. This could be you or somebody you're dealing with. Damn. This person is like literally in these energies. Trapped in fear and with mental conflict. And then we have gift at the bottom of the deck. Okay. You may not be expecting someone to come in and try to like um, reunite with you basically. You may be in a court battle with this person. Doesn't have to be. Maybe... Um, maybe someone wants to do something legal, like make this partnership legal, like a marriage situation, but maybe they're not too confident about it. And maybe this person doesn't know whether they should, they don't, they need to choose wisely on who they court or partner with. That could be that, but let's see. Holy Spirit, Holy Angel, please help me clarify these cards that I have before me for my Sagittarius sisters. Okay. Okay. Partnerships and Alliances Spirit. So we have the King of Discs with the Ten of Swords. Tell me more. The Tower card. Okay, somebody who was like plotting against you or who just was trying to steal from you or... Right? This could be involving money. That person is having a tower moment right now. It could be a king of discs. You could be dealing with an earth sign. Oh, um, scary. Tell me more. We have six of discs and then the princess of cups. Someone was shortchanging you. And someone wants to come in and apologize. Maybe what you, the tower moment could be for you that this person's going to come in and apologize 
and want to talk to you about some sort of income. Something about money. Five of discs. Someone feels left out in the cold. They could be feeling left out in the cold. They could be broke. And that's why they want to come in and partner with you because they already know this tower is coming upon that thief card. They know that that's not going to work out. Like whatever that deceptive plan, they know it's not going to work out. They So they feel that the best bet is to come in and to apologize to you and try to work things out, be fair with the six of cups or six of six of cups. Six of Pentacles, so that they cannot be in the Five of Pentacles. Why do we have the Solar Plexus Chakra Courthouse, please? Hangman in reverse, someone's seeing the bigger picture. They're seeing the bigger picture. They're, maybe this person's realizing um, with these court proceedings that they're not going to win. It could be this Emperor. This could be like a CEO boss type of energy. Also, this could be a father figure. I'm also kind of getting this person was like egotistical. Like they thought they were going to win this. Like they were confident about it. But I think they're realizing that's not how it's going to go down. Are we have courthouse and solar plexus chapters here? Uh, I don't know. Someone used their power and control to try to create some sort of illusion. Maybe by telling some lies. Oh, whoa. We have temperance at the bottom of the deck. This person may want to come and balance things out with you now. Why do we have choose wisely? Queen of Wands, Will of Fortune. Tell me more. Wow. Okay, I don't know why this is giving me instant, like, rising phoenix. Only because we have the queen, of the queen of wands here, and then the ten of swords are in reverse. It's like, yeah, you didn't kill me kind of situation. Like, you didn't, you didn't break me. You, didn't, you may have left me for dead, but I'm not. That's what it feels like. But let's keep going. Nine of Cups. Wish fulfillment. Sitting pretty. Tell me more. Two of Wands in reverse. Damn. Okay. Said, um, your person could be dealing with, uh, three women in total, <laughs> or you are, or men, because we had a queen of pentacles and then a queen of cups right here, and we have the queen of wands, which is you. So, well, well I guess, when the, but then we got the king of pentacles. Someone, you're, mm, someone already made a decision. Someone made a decision. 
okay, okay. Why do we have two of wands in reverse here? Queen of Pentacles. So there could have been an, uh, um, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn involved in this situation. Somebody who made a decision on some sort of deception. Why do we have the Queen of Wands here? The Tower card. Okay, so the Queen of Wands has the Tower card. You should, you are, you're probably going to find out some shocking news about either a Queen of Wands or about a Queen of Pentacles regarding some sort of money, some sort of opportunity. Maybe you could be finding out a, about a couple, about a King of, a King of Pentacles and a Queen of Pentacles. Why do we have um, Ten of Swords in reverse? Wow, this, okay. Look at this. Ten of Swords in reverse and then the Ten of Pentacles. Someone was trying to hurt you, for real. Why do we have the Ace of Discs here? Ace of Discs here? In and out. So someone may want to come in and and pretend and and offer you this like solid new beginning and some sort of commitment with this courtship, but really they're they're only they're really just going to be in and out of the situation. They're eventually going to just leave you out in the cold, because I think this 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 courtship that they may come in and try to partner up and offer you it's it's all about the moolah. It's all about the money. Yeah, you need to you need to safeguard your emotions from this person. Why do we have main male and mental conflict? Maybe you could be in mental conflict of, of about this main male. Wow, we got a uh, nine of swords. This person's having sleepless nights, worried, stressed. Tell me more. This person's stressed because you're in the Nine of Pentacles and you're single. This person's trying to manifest you in. Tell me more. Mental conflict in the name now. Yeah, you're defensive. You have your you have your defenses up. Yeah, tell me more. Once again, this person wants to come in with one pentacle. You're over here standing all beautiful with your nine of pentacles and they want to come in with the one. That's why they're worried. It could be a king of pentacles you're dealing with. They want to come in and apologize to you. I feel like with this queen of uh, cups at the bottom of the deck like this, this is like telling me like, um, it's kind of giving me the feeling like this person knows that you're, um, like they know that they can play on your emotions or something. I don't like that. Actually, I want to check out one more thing. What time is it? Oh, wow. Why do we have the tower card here? Okay, someone's having a tower moment because they're trapped in their head or they're going to jail. And it could be this, this King of Pentacles. Why do we have illusions? Seven of Cups. Somebody, somebody, whatever they communicated in a courtroom 
It was uh, lies and deception. It was an illusion. Someone, somebody painted an illusion about you. Damn. Okay, okay, okay. Um. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what kind of divine messages do you have for my Sagittarius? Any other additional messages that they need to hear at this time, Spirit? So somebody in this situation could be on pills, or maybe they said you were on pills. Oh my God. It says, watch your food and drinks. Child, was someone trying to put like pills in your fucking food? Oh my God. Okay. Um, we have a married couple. A married couple could be in this situation. Somebody says that they feel stuck without you. Um, you could be dealing with a narcissist. They said, I need my fuel. <laughs> no. Spirit wants you to pay attention to your dreams. <laughs> Time to get back out there, socialize. <laughs> Someone is blaming an STD on you. What the fuck? Somebody in this situation could be homeless. Or maybe they said you were homeless. It says, reminder, you are never alone. Ancestors, angels, spirit guides, and God is always there for you. And with you. You had a fake friend that was around you. <laughs> you're not confused you're abused somebody in this situation's name could start with a g middle name or last name somebody in this situation could be in a cult um you should listen to the song regina specter blue uh it's called blue lips it goes blue lips Blue veins, blue, the color of our planet from far, far away. Somebody in this situation is a positive person. What is up with these pills? Okay, so it says lessen your pill usage. Research alternative ways to heal your body. Replace or introduce herbs, teas, supplements, and vitamins into your daily diet. Allow your body to heal itself. It was intelligently designed to do just that. I am not a health professional. Oh my God, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Okay, shut the fuck up. Can you tell me more spirit? About this situation regarding my Sagittarius? Okay, somebody in this situation is getting sued. That's probably why you have that court case situation going on. Fuck the news. This could be on the news, guys. Something regarding a knife. Murder weapon found. It could have been that knife. There's some sort of age gap situation in a relationship here. Justice for a child. Somebody in this situation lacks self-love. There's a gun in this situation. And some sort of Grand Theft Auto. Oh my god. Um This 
Spirit, can you tell me more? Oh, yeah, I didn't show you this. Roommate was out. Somebody in this situation is unwilling to change their lack mindset. The movie Forrest Gump could be of significance. Hold on. <laughs> One second. Okay, Forrest Gump could be of significance. I'm thinking about like, um, like at the end where they show Jenny in Forrest Gump and how she has like HIV. Maybe someone's uh, trying to say that they got like AIDS or HIV from you. Birthday, somebody's birthday is of significant. Oh, well, Sagittarius. Um. Crying. Somebody could have been crying on your birthday. His wife knows about you. What in the hell? Um, does things on or for the dark web. Warning. This is a test. June bugs. You may need to look up the spiritual meaning for June bugs. An ex could be in this situation or someone in this um, situation has an ex in their name. This person could be a, a fake twin flame. Your fake twin flame could be born in August. Somebody has their, uh, their name starts with an S, middle, first, or last. Somebody in this situation is a light worker. Somebody's name uh, starts with an A. There could be a stalker in this situation. And someone in this situation is happy. I should put this in here. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Can you tell me a little bit more for Sagittarius's? Jeez. Self-love. Somebody wants to communicate. Someone asks if you can have anyone, why me? Someone says you changed me for the better. Someone says I could talk to you for hours. I wish I was there for you when your world was falling apart. There's trust issues in this situation. Because this person is a player. This person says, he don't got shit on me. You're mine, babe. What in the fuck is going on here, Sag? <laughs> what is happening in this situation? So apparently there is a married couple somebody is a third will to this married couple um oh my god holy spirit holy angels can you tell me more about this situation maybe someone has to choose between their their wife and their third party maybe that's what this main man is like having mental conflict over can you tell me more spirit Okay, so first out the gate, we got Vine. It says, seek out information that will help you. We have Rat. It says, someone working against you behind your back. That fake friend. We got Crib. It says, birth or conception of a child or enterprise. So a child could have been born out of this third party situation. Maybe someone, maybe the wife doesn't know, or maybe she does know. 
We got staff. It says you will be taken care of in difficult times. We got hand in need of help, assistance, and guidance. We have owl. It says good advice from a wise person. And at the bottom of the deck, we have goldfish. It says increase in material wealth or spiritual growth. Okay. Oh, shit. Okay, I think I know what's going on here. Um, let's go, let's, let's see. Let's go over these cards real quick. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we have justice for a child. So there's the child in this situation that is getting justice. There's a roommate that's involved in this situation. There's some sort of age gap in some sort of relationship. I'm guessing it's whoever's the third wheel in this married couple's relationship. There's some sort of uh, murder weapon found. It could have been a knife. This situation may be um, on Fox News. Somebody in this situation does things on or for the dark web. You guys need a, might need to listen to the song Regina Spector, Blue Lips. His wife knows about you. I think the wife knows about you possibly because this man has, he came back home with an STD. And he's blaming it on you. Maybe that's why someone in this situation is crying. On their birthday. Forrest Gump. Maybe someone's diagnosed with HIV or AIDS. Spirit wants you to lessen your pill usage. Research alternative ways to heal your body. You could be a positive person. Somebody in this situation is in a cult. Or followed some sort of um, information blindly. Spirit says you're not confused, you're abused. Maybe you felt very confused in this relationship or situationship. You're being abused. <laughs> this person in this situation may have a gun or there was gun there was a gun involved somebody lacks self-love someone wants to say he don't got shit on me you're mine babe so someone doesn't care who you're with <laughs> they're claiming you like property someone in this situation is getting sued Somebody is happy. Someone could be a stalker in this situation. Someone's name could start with an A. Someone in this situation could be a light worker. Someone's name could start with an S. Somebody was born in August or something significant happened in August. You could have a... a this is a fake twin flame. It could be your ex who's the fake flin <laughs> the fake twin flame. You need to start looking at or you need to look up the spiritual meaning for June bugs. I think this wife might come to you because I can I got those two female energies over here. 
this wife might come to you and like uh, try to confront you about this STD or situation or right spirit saying this is a test this person says I wish I was there for you when your world was falling apart self-love someone says oh. Someone says, I feel stuck without you. Someone needs their fuel. Spirit wants you to watch your food and drinks around them. This person might want to come and reunite with you and tell you, like, they miss you and all this shit. But I think th their plan is a little more sinister than that. They might want to, like, maybe they already know you because they already know your defenses are up. So they might, like, try to, like, take you out to eat or something. And put like a roofie in your food and try to have sex with you while you're unconscious. So that you do get the STD. I don't know. I'm just, I'm, my mind's just going off now. Okay, so we have a Grand Theft Auto. Um, somebody could have stole your vehicle or tried to. Pay attention to your dreams. You could be dreaming about some sort of fake friend. Spirit wants you to remember that you are never alone. Homeless. Somebody in this situation could be homeless, was homeless, or is experiencing homelessness right now. You could have anyone. Why me? This is how this, feels, this person feels. Someone wants to communicate with you. Because someone is blaming an STD on you. <laughs> spirit wants you wants to say time to get back out there socialize someone's saying no to that though somebody has or maybe this person wants you to socialize with them trust issues are in this situation somebody's name could start with a g married couple person says i could talk to you for hours this person says you changed me for the better ay, ay, ay. oh gosh holy spirit holy angels any other positive messages do you have for my sagittarius or what kind of positive messages do you have for my sagittarius who are on the path of betterment Okay, so we got tune into your inner peace. We got practice feng shui. Create a sacred space. And then we have perform a, ra a random act of kindness. And then the bottom of the deck, we have release self-doubt, let go of fear. Maybe you may be in fear of like letting go of a fake friend because you feel like you'll you'll be alone or this person. I don't know. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Is there any motivational messages you have for my Sagittarius regarding the situation? We have, you need to have the audacity to be great. We have, our greatest glory is not in never 
falling, but in rising every time we fall. Then we have sometimes the best thing you can do is not think, not wonder, not imagine, not obsess. Just breathe and have faith that everything will work out for the best. And then we have confidence is key. Once you have that, you are unstoppable. Okay, all right. <laughs> all right, Sagittarius, thank you for watching. Um, this is gonna be the end of your video. Uh, I hope you've got some healing, clarity, confirmation um, from the messages in this video. Um, oh, don't forget to check the description box to get a free birth chart and um, to look up any sort of angel numbers that you may be seeing. Um, I'm not affiliated with any of those links, but um, they are sites that I use to help me on my journey and I, I wanna pass it on to others to just to make it a little easier. Okay, well, Thank you so much and till next time, I love you. Okay, bye.